Ricky Skaggs has been a professional musician for almost 40 years, putting out incredible bluegrass and country songs. He's been honored with many awards, including 14 Grammys and CMA's Entertainer of the Year in 1985. With that experience and success, he's free to put out the kind of music that means the most to him. Kelly Lynn caught up with him at his latest release party right here in Nashville for Mosaic. I am here with Ricky Skaggs. How are you today? I'm great. How are you doing? I am really good, and I am so excited to talk about this piece of work, Mosaic. I love the title. It's a great title. It uh, has a lot of different meanings. Musically, it's, uh, it's uh, a lot of music that Gordon Kennedy has written, um, and then kind of music that I've brought, you know, uh, Eastern Kentucky, Appalachia, music to, you know, in with drums and piano and synthesizers and strings and different things like that, electric guitars, kind of almost more like my early country stuff back in the 80s, you know, more of a, of a full band sound like that, not, not necessarily my bluegrass stuff that I've done over the last 15 years. But, you know, Mosaic is also just, a, you know, we're all a little piece of, uh, you know, of the mosaic that, that makes up a picture of God as a, as a Christian. We're all just little small pieces, you know, that hopefully make up a picture of his love and his goodness. And uh, so it has a lot of different meanings. It was a, plus, there was a song called Mosaic on the record, and it just it made sense to call it that. No, I can't shake Jesus. Talk a little bit about, because you worked with a Grammy award-winning producer on mm -hmm. this. Yeah, yeah, Gordon, Gordon Kennedy, he's, uh, he's, a great, uh, he's a great songwriter. I mean, he uh, is a great musician as well, and a son of Jerry Kennedy, which was a, another great producer here in Nashville back in the late 50s through the mid-70s, mid uh, early 80s. Uh, used to run, uh, he ran Mercury Records for many years, uh, Jerry Kennedy did. And actually, we got Mr. Jerry out of retirement and had him come in and play on this record uh, oh, cool. on one song. So uh, anyway, uh, Gordon is, uh, you know, great celebrated songwriter, worked with Peter Frampton for the last 11 years, uh, produced a, a Grammy Award winning record on him here recently, and Peter actually came in and played a, so uh, played a, a solo on, uh, on this song called My Cup Runneth Over, which is another song from the record. But uh, Gordon is, you know, a very, very gifted songwriter. He has such a wonderful way of taking the truth and writing it, you know, in a way where it doesn't offend people, but it really presents the gospel in a way that makes you really look at yourself. And uh, so we got into this record thinking we were going to work on a record, and uh, probably two weeks into it, we realized the record was working on us. Well, I know that there will be a day The Lord will have me fly away So, Gordon, what a wonderful piece of work you've done, and, and you wrote 12 of these songs, 13, 13 all 13. Yeah, 13. Talk a little bit about your most special or the one that means the most to you. Well, uh, you know, uh, probably track five, there's a song called Instead. You know, um, when I listen to the songs on this record and I realize that a lot of the songs that uh, have this kind of message to them, maybe I feel like come from God and through me because I think there's an audience that needs to hear this song. But this particular song, though, after we recorded it, I listened to it a few times and each time it was hitting me harder that that particular song came through me because I needed to hear it. And so every time I hear it, I think I'm the one who needed to listen to that message more than anybody else. So that sort of remains my favorite on the record. And I am the chief of sinners. Are you performing a lot live and doing a lot of festivals or? Well, we, you know, we're we're currently out playing our bluegrass shows, you know, with Kentucky Thunder, my band, and uh, but we we do want to do a tour where we can really put Real together, or, you know, the music that's on this record. We, you know, take a drummer out on the road and a piano player, and you know, and uh, and of course Gordon wants to come out as well, and we're going to let him. And, uh, <laughs> so uh, you know, it it it, it would be a fun tour, you know, to be able to play this music because it's so special, you know, and and my heart is to. Uh, is to take the church out to people, take the, the, the truth of the gospel out to the streets and take it to casinos and clubs and bluegrass festivals and music festivals and wherever we can take it, you know, that's that's my heart is to take this music out to, because, you know, God, 
God loves so deep and he loves people that they don't even realize that God loves them. They think, how could he love me, you know? Right. And, uh, but he does, you know, and uh, I think if people could only understand how much God loves them, you know, the world would be so different, you know? And uh, so that's, you know, that's what, there, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of truth in these songs and I think when people hear them, they're gonna be touched. After recording more than 30 studio albums, Ricky is still out to show the world that country rocks but bluegrass rules. We have to take another quick break, but we're headed out next to an annual benefit concert with a stellar lineup. We'll be right back. Hi, we're Coldwater Jane here at the Buds and Suds event. We're coming up next on Inside Music Row. <laughs> 